guys, it's Katie with The Veggie Option and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make some smoked maple tofu with an incredible maple peanut sauce that can be combined with some stir fried veggies and noodles to make an incredible dish packed with flavor. So the ingredients we're gonna need for today's recipe are tofu, soy sauce, cornstarch, and the new smoked maple sriracha blend by Spiceology. And that's what we're gonna be using for the tofu. And then for our peanut sauce, you're gonna need peanut butter, rice vinegar, maple syrup, lime, crushed red pepper, sesame oil, and salt. So you're gonna to wanna to get some extra firm or firm tofu. And what you wanna do is when you get home, throw it immediately into the freezer. And as you can see here, freezing tofu actually freezes the water that's inside and creates these channels where when you press your tofu, the water is able to come out super easily. So freeze it overnight, thaw it out in the morning, and then press your tofu in some towels to get out as much moisture as possible. Then to chop it up, we're just gonna slice it down the middle and then chop it into bite-sized pieces. So once you have your tofu chopped into nice little bite-sized pieces, you're gonna put it in a bowl big enough so you can toss in some cornstarch. And what this is gonna do is give it a nice crispy exterior. Also a little splash of soy sauce, just for the sodium and to give it a little bit of moisture back. And then also the smoked maple sriracha blend, which is gonna coat this tofu with flavor. That's something I really like about tofu is that it basically is a sponge for whatever flavors you put on it. And it's really gonna absorb these flavors nicely. So once you sprinkle all your ingredients on, toss it up to get them coated evenly. And once your tofu is coated, you're gonna throw it on a sheet pan in the oven at about 350 for 15 to 20 minutes until it gets to your desired crispiness. So while your tofu is cooking in the oven is the perfect time to make your peanut sauce. So I like to start with a natural peanut butter um, that's creamy that doesn't have any added sugar because what we're gonna be doing is adding some maple syrup in there. So get your peanut butter in a jar and I like to use one with the lid so that we can shake it up at the end. But you're gonna to wanna to add some rice vinegar, a bit of fresh, real maple syrup. Gives it that kind of sweetness and balances some of the acidity. We'll do some fresh lime as well, which is always delicious a splash of sesame oil, a bit of soy sauce. This is gonna give us some of that salty flavor. And then also, if you're into garlic, I like to add some garlic powder as well. You can also use fresh garlic, but the Spiceology garlic powder is so flavorful that it honestly does not taste much different than fresh stuff. Um, I like to add a little extra heat, so I do a little bit of crushed red peppers. And then last but not least, the smoked maple blend. And this is gonna really combine the flavors um, that we did with the tofu. So as much of that as you like. And it'll also add that nice smokiness, um, which is exactly what we're looking for. So once you have everything combined, oh, we're also gonna add some salt, of course. Once you have that combined, we're gonna throw a lid on and shake it up. So once you shake up your peanut sauce, you might notice it's a little thick. So I like to add a couple tablespoons of water just to thin it out and make sure that it's gonna easily incorporate onto the rest of our meal. So once you do that, I'm actually just gonna throw our veggies to saute for a little bit and then we're gonna assemble this dish. Okay, so we pulled our tofu out of the oven. Our veggies are nice and sauteed. We have our peanut sauce ready to go and we're just gonna assemble this over a bed of noodles. You can also use rice for this recipe. I like to use a nice rice noodle. So let's throw this together.
so once you put your peanut sauce on your bowl, you'll just wanna mix that up to make sure that the peanut sauce is well combined over all the veggies and tofu, and you are good to go. I just topped it with some fresh cilantro, a little slice of lime, and you can even sprinkle a little bit more of the smoked maple on top if you want a little bit of extra heat. One thing I really love about this recipe is you can prep the ingredients ahead of time. You can chop your veggies, make your noodles, and do the tofu, and then just combine it whenever you're ready to eat. So I hope you guys enjoyed this bowl and give it a try. And until next time, see you later.